A few years ago, I had the opportunity to travel through India, Nepal, and Bangladesh with a friend. During this time, I saw a lot of spiritual darkness and a lot of poverty, and not knowing the culture or the language, I really didn't know how to help these people. There was one particular day, though, that I prayed for a spirit of fearlessness, of boldness, and of courage. And I just really cried out to God from my heart, Lord, give me fearlessness. Give me boldness and courage. And uh, that night, my friend and I, not on purpose, ended up sleeping at the train station with all the homeless people. And as I laid on my little blue bench, I remember crying out to God in desperation, saying, God, you are my father. How could you let this happen to me? My earthly father would not approve. In fact, he would do anything to get me off the street of India into a safe place. And then I felt God speak to my heart. He said, he said didn't you pray for fearlessness? Didn't you pray for boldness and courage? And he said, yes, I am your father, and I love you more than your earthly father. And this is exactly where I want you to be. Well, I looked up and I saw a bird land in its nest, and I thought, oh, it would be so nice to be that bird, safe and at home. And then I remembered Jesus saying to those who wanted to follow him, he said, birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. And I felt like the Lord was, was asking me, Holly, are you willing to follow me? I want you to be fearless of the darkest night. I want you to see all these people who sleep on the streets. Do you see all these young mothers and all these little children who I love and die for? You are responsible. The church is responsible. Not only a few hours later, my friend and I happened to meet a young couple named Meisel and Shweta. Now, almost three years later, we have helped them start a children's home. And nearly all these children have come out of begging at the train stations and from village to village. I dare you to call out to God, your Father, and to ask him for a spirit of fearlessness, of boldness, and of courage. Jesus says, to whom much is given, much is required. And we have been given much. What are you doing for the least of these? What are you doing for those who God loves and Jesus died for? Let's do something.